you know, the day didn't start off so bad. Taking notes, collecting seeds, blah blah blah. All things considered, it was going pretty well. At first. Men. Men. What? What is it? I'm in the middle of something. The equinox drop off. What about it? As it turned out, Cress totally forgot to remind me about the drop off. We're late. You were supposed to come remind me about the drop off. What happened? They've already taken off. All of them. Huh? Look. What? Oh no. Maybe we can still make it. What? Min, wait. Excuse me. Hey. Excuse me. The dragons left without us. Get them to turn around at once. Eh? Huh? What? Listen. Those guys delayed their takeoff by an entire hour for any stragglers. You're out of luck. Also, no refunds. No! Of course not. All sales final. We hope to see you again next year at the Equinox drop-off. Is there any way we can still make it? Hmm. Well, you can take a boat, if you have one. If you ask around, someone will probably help. You'll need to leave right away, though. This is the final day, so most of the boats are about to depart. <laughs> Our drop-off will close on its own soon. Wait, that's the drop-off? Hear that? There's still time! Let's go catch a boat! We're just too late! Nothing to do now but look around for another entrance. What? I know you heard him. We can still make it. Man, seriously, there are plenty of boats around and you won't even have to look at the water. Suddenly, I had a stroke of genius. I got it, Chris. We'll search further inland. Someone is bound to know about the permanent entrances. Min, please, just brave a little whirlpool. We're running out of time. So basically, I'll keep on researching plants while you look for clues on where demons are known to congregate. It was the perfect plan. This is the perfect plan. No. Min, you're gonna get lost again. Uh. In an attempt to make the best of a bad situation, I headed deep into the nearby forest to gather seeds. I left Cress behind to like, I don't know, reflect on her transgressions or something. Did I feel a shred of pity for that poor girl? Men! Then did I find her by pure unbridled luck? There you are. I was starting to think I'd never find you. Look, I've thought about it and I'm fairly certain I know where one is. A permanent entrance. Uh, really? not doing this. Hey, does your ferry make stops at the Citrico Islands? To which we have ferries to the closest three islands, Stem, Chiron, and Rusapil. There, other ferries go to the farther islands. How long to Musapil? Three days. What? Why so long? How about Stem or Sharon, then? It just takes too long. I guess we'd better just move on. From here, it's one day to Stem and two days to Chiron. Why? They're not very far apart. It shouldn't take that long. Well, it does take that long. By the time your ferry arrives at one of the islands, the ferries on those islands have already left for the day. See now? Each island takes a day to get to. So, three days to Moose Appeal. Okay, fine. Fine. What time's the ferry today? Oh, we don't have any right now. 
What? But you just said... What a shame. Under maintenance. Come back in a month. Maybe two. Are you serious? Darn, guess we can't go by ferry. You didn't look outside. No fairies. I thought you knew. And I thought you were supposed to be helpful. I'm done. This is a waste of time. We were getting desperate. We were already behind schedule. And Cress is fooling around at the pier set us back even further. We can't just sit here. We need to start the test now before our supplies get old. Cress then had the worst idea ever. Men, can't you fly us over? What? No! You weigh like a hundred gallons. I can't even carry one gallon. No, wait. Then Cress had the worst idea ever. Since you turned down one of our two options, I guess I can turn into a boat instead. That's... You know, I think if we just go to the crystal flower fields, we can find a- Man! Come on! We really can't do that. You know this. Knock it off. Either I drag you over, or you cooperate with me. Your pick. <gasps> Stop it. Don't do that. Don't be a pest. What? Ever? At some point, I think I, like, drifted off into a restless sleep. Well, I mean, I know I did. But at some other point, I woke up to something horrible. Huh? Mm. Cress, stop bumping around. It makes me feel sick. Ah! Ah! Uh, 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 Cress! Well, ow! You trying to pop me? Are you trying to drown me? Stop going on autopilot while you sleep! You could have crashed, and then what? Look, I can't just stay awake forever. I can stay more or less on course while I sleep. More or less? Stop swimming while you sleep! No! You need to get there ASAP. I will never forgive you if I die. Ever. I'll be a ghost, I'll be angry, and I'll show up all the time to remind you of your many failings as a friend. And as a boat! You're not gonna die, idiot. The water's maybe a couple of feet deep. That's still like a hundred percent taller than me. Check and mate. Make sure to tell those at my funeral who's like a lot After thwarting such a blatant attack on my life, I knew. I knew I had to chronicle my adventures just in case I didn't make it out alive. Whatever. No sweat. I had plenty of time. The SS Friend Drowner would take a while to arrive at Polaris, the southernmost isle.